Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So as an entrepreneur running multiple businesses from my home, staying productive is possibly one of the most important things that I have to do. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I stay on top of my game using my favorite app of all time, Notion. This app has completely changed the way that I organize my life. So I will be sharing with you guys my own personal Notion workflow. I do wanna say thank you so much to Notion for sponsoring this video. But to be honest, I probably would have made this video anyways, just because I think Notion is such a life impact app. Now I want you guys to think of this thought. Procrastination is what prevents us from living our dream life. Let that sink in because when I first heard this quote, I realized that I had so many goals and things I wanted to do, but it's just so hard to take action and actually hold myself accountable to these dreams. I want to be ripped. I want to start making content. I want to start that business I've always wanted to do. Humans unfortunately just procrastinate a lot. And that's why you need something to hold you accountable and organize your life. And really that's where Notion comes in. Notion is the super cool app and website that I use to make my life as productive as it can be. I use it on my computer, on my iPad, and even on my phone. Think of it as a digital planner that you can upload your entire life onto. I use it for my daily tasks, my content calendar, my CRM, note taker, habit tracker, and that's only scratching the surface. Let me show you guys what my own Notion looks like and how I use it to organize my otherwise very scattered life. So here I am in Notion. This is my homepage, the first tab that I have. It's my tasks to do. And basically I've set it so that I have to do at least three of these tasks per day. Otherwise I have to put $5 into a jar. And what I found is having that $5 monetary penalty really makes you be motivated to get things done. So if I didn't have that $5 thing, I probably wouldn't do some of these things. But basically what I have is a to do column right here. So when I think of things I have to do, I'll put that there. Um, after that, it's a doing today, so I'll move that over here. Um, these things are my tasks for today that I want to do. So some, some stuff in my course, going to the gym, filming and editing this video, and also one TikTok video. And then whenever I get that done, so for example, I've already hit the gym, so I'm gonna drag this over to the done column. And once uh, this is done for the day, I drag them over here to the archive, and I'll just um, clear this out every once in a while. But yeah, I found having this tasks to do thing really makes me actually um, have like three main things I want to do per day and get them actually done. The next column is my YouTube section and basically I have a content calendar for my main channel and I have a content calendar for my second channel over here. So if I go to my main content calendar, basically how I have it organized is I have a no status column and this is where I think of video ideas and when I think of an idea, I'll pick a title and put that in this column. Um, and then when I actually start to write a script for it, I'll drag that over here. So you can see these are all like video ideas that I've had that I haven't actually written a script for. Um, once I actually start to work on the video, I'll drag it over here to the scripting in progress. So these videos I have like actually started scripting things. And then once I am done with the script, I'll drag it over into this ready to film column. So right now I've been working on a lot of scripts. I haven't really been filming too much. So that's why I have six different videos in my ready to film column. Now, once I have actually filmed them, I'll drag them over to this column. Um, this video has been in my film column for a long time. I've been meaning to post it, but I just haven't done that yet. Once I've started to edit the video, I'll drag it over here to edit in progress. And then when it's done editing, I'll drag it into this one. And lastly, once I finish the video and I publish it onto YouTube, that's when I'll finally drag it into this column right here. Now the content calendar is super great for anyone making content, um, but besides the border view, you can actually change the layout. And what I'm gonna do is change it to the calendar view, which is really cool because it lets you see sort of like a whole snapshot of all your uh, videos and things that you've posted on a sort of like a timeline. So basically, Every video that I do, I will set a date that I want to post it. And you can see this video, oh shoot. This one I was supposed to uh, post yesterday because I'm filming this on the first, but I'm gonna have to actually drag it over here. I'll probably post it on the second. Uh, you guys will see when I post it. But basically you can come here and set the publish date. Um, so I can set it to any date I want and then it's gonna show up on this calendar. Next week I have a couple of videos I want to make like how to become a tax-free millionaire and also some of my daily habits that will make you make more money. Uh, and then I think this one, how to invest in stocks for beginners, I'm gonna change that to next following week. 
But yeah, it's just really cool to see all the videos that you've done. So if you do uh, YouTube or if you have any type of social media that you want to be more consistent on, definitely use a content calendar like this. And same thing with my second channel, it's just very similar, but I have almost no content on that channel yet, so that's why there's nothing here. Like I said, this works for any type of social media, so I even have one for my TikTok. Um, very similar, no status, script in progress, ready to film, filmed, published, a little bit less complicated than the YouTube stuff, but that's how I make it work for TikTok. I also have a work CRM, so this is basically where I put all of my clients for real estate, my clients for mortgages. And it's really cool because you can add a lot of information for each of your clients. I also have a habit tracker, but to be honest, I haven't really been using this, but if you do want to track your habits, this is an extremely good way to stay on it and stay consistent. So my notes section right here, this is actually one of the uh, parts of Notion that I really, really find useful. And I didn't think that it'd be so useful, but it actually is. And just compiling my thoughts, anytime I have something to write down or keep track of, I'll put that in this notes section. So you can see here are some of the things I currently have in my notes, and it just really helps me uh, have a good place that I can just write down things when I think of them. For example, if I have any questions that come up for my accountant, I'll just write them in here and I'll bring it up with him during our next meeting. I also have a section for active loans. I won't show you guys that. Um, I have a section for Instagram and I also have a section for all my online courses that I am building. So um, right now I have four in here, but I've only um, finished one of them. So I'm actually going to show you guys my six figure YouTube Academy. This is where the entire course lives pretty much. This is where I started outlining the course. This is where I um, wrote pretty much what I wanted to say in each of the videos. And it's just a really great place to have everything in one spot. I have all my modules here in uh, bold and then under each module, I have each of my videos that's in that module. It's really cool because I can name it, let's say test uh, page one, and then I can turn that actually into a page. So I'm gonna turn that into a sub page and bam, that's gonna be its own page within here. And I can just go back here by clicking there and bam, I'm back to my whole outline. But yeah, basically, this is where I created the course. This is where all the information is, my, my scripts for each video. And yeah, I really could not think of a better place to outline my course than Notion. Here's my Rockstar Influencer Academy that I haven't started making yet really, but I have sort of started outlining it so you guys can just sort of check out what I have so far. But yeah, each of these, I haven't turned them into a page yet, but I just go there, turn to a page, and add as a sub page, bam. And then I can click on that, and then just write the whole script, blah, 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 and then go back. And lastly, I have my contractor duties. So I do hire a lot of independent contractors to help me out with my businesses. So I'll write some of the things that I need them to do here, and that helps me when I actually talk to them and give them tasks to do. Now, one thing I really wanna show you guys is all the different types of pages that you can add, because to be honest, I'm probably using like 10 to 20% of, of the possibilities that Notion offers you. If you come here to add a page, you click on that and then you go to templates. This is where Notion really shines because they have a ton of pre-built templates that you can start using right away. Um, if you do design, they have you know all these things here, roadmap, design tasks, meeting notes. If you are in school, um, class notes, job applications, grade calculator, reading list. These are all things that I could also use right now, but I just haven't really um, used them. Uh, you have a budget planner, you have a syllabus, lesson plans, um, engineering, you have to do, you have roadmap, all this stuff. They have an HR section right here. They have marketing, brand assets. This is really cool. You can upload all your logos and like fonts and all that stuff. And then I think for most people, the personal section is gonna be really, really crucial. This is where you can really hold yourself accountable to things that you want to do. So if you really want 2021 to be um, the year where you make some big changes in your life, then get Notion and start using these things to keep yourself accountable. Here we have the task list. So this is sort of what I have on mine. Um, if you want to use Notion for journaling, you can do that. If you want to read more books, definitely have a reading list because this is where you can actually write the books that you want to read. And then when you actually finish them, you can say finished and rate them uh, and all this cool stuff. If you have any big goals, you can write those right here. If you want to travel, you can use a travel planner in Notion, a habit tracker, notebook, 
Yeah, it's just really crazy how much cool stuff you can find in Notion. And there's all these other ones too. I don't think I'm gonna really go into all of them because then this video would probably be super, super long. Now, not only is Notion amazing on a computer or a laptop, but it's also super cool on an iPad. So yeah, for those of you that have an iPad, you are really in luck because their interface on the iPad is also amazing. So here's my iPad Pro. This is the Notion app. And you can see it looks very similar to the desktop version, um, but it just looks a little bit more streamlined for mobile. Here is my task to-do list like I showed you guys before. Um, and it's very similar. Each one you can click on and start writing. And if you have an Apple Pencil, you can actually start writing on here. So I'll write my name. There we go. And once I go back, let's say I finish or I can drag these things. So let's say I finish filming this Notion video, I can actually take that and drag it over to done. If you want to take a look at my content calendar right here, you can see um, I'm going to go here and click content calendar for the main channel. And I'm going to switch to calendar view here. I want to click on a date, click that, and it's going to show me what's uh, on that date. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys are interested in checking out Notion, which I highly recommend for anyone that wants to step up their game in 2021, click on the link in my description, try it out and let me know what you guys think. There are a lot of websites like Notion. I've tried out most of them and I can tell you guys without a doubt, Notion is the best one to get. It's also extremely affordable, so there really is no reason not to get it. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this. I make a ton of content about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and investing. Basically, my whole goal is to help you guys make money in non-traditional ways and just live very financially successful lives. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.